It is the most important meal of the day and really sets you up for either your old tag of a boss or singing country music brushing your teeth in the toilet. It's the one, it's the only famous Irish fry-up, Storm Fry. But what is Storm Fry? Well, sit back on your feet, get ready to get your mouth watering as I explain what Storm Fry is. I'm Darren Edwards from Teapot Info, and here's the rundown of the burning sensation, what is Storm Fry? Storm Fry consists of, well, a fry, but not just any ordinary fry. It consists of double the rashes, double the sausages, double the eggs, double everything. Except for the pudding, because it tastes like a bag of poo. Silence, fool! The great thing about Stormfry, it comes to your table in mere 10 seconds upon ordering. The Stormfry culture has been unheard of in most areas, as it breaks new ground using cauldron as wicked witches used back in the 16th century. You thought you would get away with hiding the iconic truth of what happened to black magic. But you didn't. Did you know that Stormfrey not only consists of delicious goods, but also consists of a fine choice of beverages, such as Coke, a Pepsi Max, and a Capri Sun for the little child who does nothing but scream while you hang your head in shame, as old Jenna looks over with her stupid looking face. Upon arriving at the table, the waitress slash waitress slams down the tray, does a twirl and puts her hands up in the air and shouts out loud and proud Storm Fry! The fry really makes them so energetic. It has become a big cult following in recent years, including a film adaption, respectively starring Neil Breen, John Cena, Paris Hilton, Moon Bloodgood, Lucas Karshak, Pat Short, TV personalities Anton Deck, former Disney star Bella Thorne, and Smash Mouth lead singer Steve Harwell. The film would include most of the stars green screened ill sitting next to each other dining with the delicious expeditious Storm Fry. Apparently one of the early concepts had the actors faces ditched the place on the food but Neil Breen, the faithful finding star, objected to the idea as he wanted to use his body language to throw things around. He wanted the Stormfrey to eat their bodies away and for him to be the last one surviving and having a monologue about how strong he is for not giving in to the food. It would also consist of him getting kidnapped by aliens and having a talk with them on why the Stormfrey cannot go on. The studio decided that the darker turn Neil Breen wanted was going far too dark for the young audience they were trying to get. They decided to make a film a musical with all the singing food on the plate performed by famous by band One Direction, Cheryl Cole, Una Healy, Mr. T and pretty reckless front woman Tara Momsen. The film also had to find a way to dub Breen's lines as he refused to do ADR on his dialogue. They decided in post to remove all his dialogue and have his character cut down to a non-speaking role. Fans of the fateful findings that patted him on the back for the creative decision not to use lines of dialogue to branch out his acting. Stormfly has had many Stormfly cult groups across the globe. Old Granny started the protests against the Stormfly movement as the breakfast food kept going out of date as the youngsters would all head off to the restaurants to eat some good old storm fry. These restaurants include Skelly's, Widow's, Sheaves Palace, Link's, Kenobi Kitchen and a hella good bistro. Thanks so much guys for checking out this video. Make sure to share, subscribe, share again and make sure if you can 
donate as much money to our Patreon account. You see, it really helps us out and keeps the channel moving. Also, it helps me pay that student loans that I owe. If you donate more than 50 grand, you get your very own mocky boot. Particularly this mocky boot was one that got thrown at me by my stupid neighbour after I told his wife that she was hot as hell. Some people take things way too seriously. Ciao for now.